What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We are reacting to the brand new third trailer for Dune Part 2. We will, as we get closer to the release of this movie, be revisiting Dune Part 1. We like to do 3D watch alongs because we think that they're, they're, they're pretty fun and we have the capability mm -hmm. to do so. So we're going to rewatch it in 3D. We're going to have young cut reactions for that on our Patreon and then we'll do a cut down for YouTube as well. Speaking of Patreon, if you have not seen the young cut reactions for Loki, Ahsoka, everything that we watched in 2023 and beyond, that or before that I should say check out everything we've got a ton of stuff coming up as well we're going to be doing reactions for things like Echo Invincible new seasons of X-Men all sorts of stuff so check that out there's a lot of stuff on there we also just dropped the Chexicans cooking special on our second channel which is obviously called Chexicans where we do our podcast check that out we uh, put Hector up to the challenge times. of cooking a meal for us a five or four course meal for five people <laughs> It was a lot. Uh, but it was spoiler really alert. Fun. Adam almost gets his face burnt with the bottom of a pan. So uh, it's a good <laughs> go time. Go and check it out. It's a good time. <laughs> it is, uh, and it let is. us know if you like it because we love doing it and we want to do more of them. Uh, but also another important thing is the Reforgies, the best time of the year is going on. We have a survey out. Uh, Adam, if you want to link it in the bottom in the description here, where we have a survey and you can vote on your favorite things that we watch together. There's a couple of other things in there that maybe we didn't watch together, but that we wanted to nominate. Uh, super fun. Don't take it too too seriously because it's not a serious thing. But uh, it's super funny. We want you to vote. We want you to be involved. And then we'll cook. We'll cook. We'll record the uh, Refugees episode on Chexicans as soon as it's all done. So, uh, yeah, yep. go and participate. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And you have until December 25th. So check out the link down in the description below. It's really fun. Like Augustine said, it's not meant to be super serious. We're just having the time of our life. Just having a good time talking about the things that we love. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. without further ado, are you ready to watch this <sighs> ready trailer? Ready to go. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. Tell me, what was it about? Oh, man. It's only fragments. Jesus. Nothing's clear. Ooh. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Luke! My family's been fighting them for centuries. Your blood comes from dukes and great houses. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Man, Greg Fraser and Denis Villeneuve really know how to cook the frame. Damn. Oh, hell yeah. Good. funny i was just mentioning how like there isn't a lot of like romance in movies these days mm, i see yeah he's psychotic Ooh, okay 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 crazy guy i see possible futures all at once water so many futures our enemies oh josh brolin lives i do see a way there is a narrow way through Oh, 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 the worms. Oh, you gotta love me, don't oh, me. They're riding the worms. Oh my god. Oh, that's so dope. Jeez, oh my man. god. My allegiance wow. is to you. Do you believe me? This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. Man, the visuals wow. are just insane. In yeah, this is incredible. You will never lose me as long as you stay who you are. Consider what you're about to do, Paul Atreides. Silence! Oh, Woof. Oh, oh. Woof! Take that, you vavitch. This prophecy is how they enslave us! God, that is insane. Yo, that's crazy. You are not prepared for what is to come. I'm not prepared. Not You're at right. All. I'm not, Rebecca oh, Ferguson. I'm damn. not. Oh, my God. 
Then he just putting on a clinic, putting on a, Seriously. a film clinic, dude. This looks so good. I remember coming out of the theater being so impressed with this movie and feeling yeah. like I had just watched an epic like a Star Wars, a Lord of the Rings, uh, uh, something that was special in cinemas. And mm -hmm. this, it feels like this is continuing because it looks, every frame looks picture perfect. It looks so good. It's the timing for when these movies have come out is a little bit of a bummer because mm -hmm. Dune part one came out while we were still, most people were still kind of in a lockdown. Mm -hmm. So not a yeah. ton of people were going out to the movies to, to see stuff. I know you and I, we ventured out to go see it in Dolby cinema mm -hmm. because we were like, well, mm -hmm. if we're going to, if we're going to go out there and put ourselves out there, we're going to have to see it in like the best format possible. Uh, or we actually, I think we saw it in IMAX actually not Dolby cinema. So with part two, you know, it, was delayed because of the strikes that were happening. Mm -hmm. So I still hope that even though it's coming out in March, that people go out of their way to see it because yeah. like you were saying, this is like a star Wars. It's like a Lord of the Rings. It's mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. terms of, you know, the scope and scale, it really is like an Oppenheimer too, where it deserves mm -hmm. to be seen yeah. on the biggest screen you can find. Mm -hmm. and, and in 3d is, is yeah. this one getting a 3d release i don't know because <sighs> dune 3d came out but i don't remember if it was only in international territories because i, I have the I 4k and 3d blu-ray mm -hmm. but i had to mm -hmm. get it from the united kingdom so i'm not yeah. sure if that was only because they just didn't have it here or mm -hmm. actually you know what there was i think a domestic 3d blu-ray i think the only reason that i, I bought was, that yeah. version was because i wanted the 4k 3d combo and i think the mm -hmm. only way for me I to see. get it was from the united kingdom them. So, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. yeah, if it is available in 3d, I would love to go see it here in 3d. Um, the original film, it is a conversion, but, and it's not as depthy as mm -hmm. I think that we're kind of used to 3d, but mm -hmm. to me, it, it kind of works for Dune because Dune is so oh, yeah. expansive and huge that if mm -hmm. you give it a lot of depth, it's going to make everything look really kind of miniaturized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and Greg Frazier's photography is so incredible, the work that they yeah. do. So I just cannot wait to see, even with the IMAX stuff, you know, like this trailer, for example, is presented in like the IMAX aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. all of the trailers that were released officially by Warner Brothers were not. They were all in widescreen. So it's cool to see that they're really like embracing this bigger frame because I think this movie mm -hmm. deserves it. Mm -hmm. And there were a couple of sequences in the first movie that they, it wasn't really a scale up, but they reframed them to work on the tall IMAX screen too. So if that's available, you know, on the giant IMAX screen at Universal Studios or Universal City Walk, then that's yeah. even worth going out to. So, yep. and plus like the story is so sort of, it really just grabs <laughs> you by the horns and pulls you in and it's yeah. fully yeah. immersive and you cannot take your eyes off of anything that's happening. You are fully invested from the first frame. And that's yeah. a huge testament to, I think, Denis Villeneuve's direction, Greg Frazier's work as the cinematographer, the music, the mm -hmm. sound design, and mm -hmm. the visual effects especially. The yeah. visual effects teams who have worked on the Dune movies have done such an incredible work uh, yeah. to make the visual effects look quote unquote invisible in the sense mm -hmm. that they feel just so flawless and they feel so yeah. perfectly blended into the frame that you're, I, I don't think there's any part of the first Dune movie that I looked and I was like, yeah, that looks like a visual effect. No, it all right. looks like it's mm -hmm. practical built pieces, even mm -hmm. though there is so much CG and computer enhanced imagery in that yeah. first movie. So it's yeah. such a, it's such a quality film. So I really, really do hope that people go out to see it because I would love to see Denis Villeneuve and this entire team potentially make more because there are more books yeah. and more stories to tell in this universe. Oh yeah. If the quality stays up like this, I'd really like to explore this universe a lot more. I know nothing about, I've never read the books. My only experience to Dune is watching the first movie. I didn't even watch the old school. I think it was in the 80s, the, the 80s version that came out. Yeah, there was a movie and then there was a miniseries in the 90s yeah. too. I didn't watch any of that stuff either. Yeah. So uh, Denny's first movie was my first experience to Dune. And I, I was sucked right in. It, it mm. happened. And it, it's a, the, the lore can be a little bit tough to follow from what I understand. But the way it was presented here is just, you're right, Adam. It just sucks you in immediately. And so mm. I'm really looking forward to this. And I'll probably be a dune head after the third one comes out. <laughs> Who knows? Like, <laughs> you know, it'll, I'll probably be as big of a fan of this as I am anything else. So I'm looking yeah, forward absolutely. to it. absolutely. And it's such an amazing cast. Now, now they yeah. have Christopher Walken, yeah. Florence Pugh, Austin Butler. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's yeah. like one of those series that just keeps adding so many talented people to the mix. And like you're saying, as long as the storytelling holds up and executed mm -hmm. incredibly well, which 
I have yeah. full faith in someone like Denis Villeneuve, oh, yeah. uh, then I think it's just going to be an awesome theatrical experience. Yeah, so, for sure. For sure. Cannot wait. Let us know your thoughts about this trailer. If you've seen Dune Part 1, let us know your thoughts about that movie as well. Like I mentioned at the top, we will be doing a rewatch of that movie in 3D. That will be on Patreon and on the channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so make mm -hmm. sure you guys come back for that. And the hope is that as we get closer to the release of Dune, we'll be able to maybe go see the film a little bit early and give yep. you our early reaction uh, out of the theater as well. So stay mm -hmm. tuned for that. Check out mm -hmm. everything else. Check out the cooking special. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.